this case is now over and this settlement uh, is a bittersweet end to a long journey to achieving justice. And I say that it's bittersweet because it's bitter in that David is not here with us. And he is not here today to be a father to his children, to be a brother, to be a son. But it's sweet because we know that the money that we've obtained in this case is going to go a long way to helping David's children secure a bright future so that they have a full ride to college, so that they have opportunities to succeed in life. And these are all things that David would want for them. This settlement represents for the Kern County Sheriff's Department a richly deserved black eye. This case was more than about how they killed David Silva. It was also about how they tried to cover up what happened. So how can you have an effective investigation? How can you have an unbiased investigation when the coroner is an arm of the sheriff's department? So when Sheriff Youngblood says that there was no foul play and he bases his comments on the coroner's report and the autopsy performed by the pathologist, ask yourselves, A, was that a thorough investigation? And B, was that uh, an unvarnished and completely objective investigation. I think you have to conclude that if the county is willing to pay these victims $3.4 million, it's very clear that there was wrongdoing on the part of the county. Um, from the very beginning, we told you how David died, and uh, we've been telling you every day as much as we can, uh, this $3.4 million should say something. Yet, the sheriff of this town is still in denial. And that's the saddest part because we know what follows. We know more people will be victimized by this law type of law enforcement. You know, I, I wish I could say to the public, please wake up and please join us in this fight. But I don't think people are waking up yet and people are seem to be okay with this type of behavior. And nine officers on a man that was on the ground that couldn't get up. My brother was committing no crime. My brother was looking for help. and the best they can do is beat him down, attack, send an attack dog on him twice, um, beat him with batons, you know, sucker punch him, slam him on the ground while he's in the hogtie position, suffocate him, basically, and the public does nothing. And I am, first I want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I'm going to be minus one son. Remember that. I remember every month that the last of May. Enjoy it. I have one son here, and man, he's poor and low. No, nobody else could do what he did. Nobody. I have seen nobody do as much work as he has done. And you know what? We stood out. We cried. We begged. We begged. David did nothing wrong. Trying to get help that night. The first three responding officers, you've got... Those deputies and the officers involved in that incident killed David Silva. And this settlement of $3.4 million is a reflection of that reality. Uh, if anyone needs help, you know, come join us. You know, if anyone gets victimized, please join us. We'll rally. We'll rally for you. But this has to stop. Thank you.